this is Frankie Averzino with the Scoop News. We're talking about fire station number one in Venice, Florida. This has been an ongoing issue. If you um, watch the city council meetings and read the emails like I do, um, Fred Fraze has been great and going out there and um, bringing it to a lot of people's attention. Just how much um, wear and tear our public, um, our government buildings are going through. Public works is in such disarray that they're moving it over to where the new police station is, and that's in disarray, so they're building a new one. Um, and the same goes with the fire stations. They've been just um, left and not really taken care of and been essentially ignored by the city council. Um, now it's gotten to the point where this one over on Harbor right there next to the city council is in such bad shape that the roof is leaking. Uh, they got stuff, uh, generators leaking. They got a major rat issue. There's rot around the windows. And so they're essentially saying, look, we probably need a new one. So what do they do? And that's the big controversy now is do they keep it there and find a temporary location for, uh, for the fire department until they get it repaired or do they move it some people are saying hey should we move it over to the airport then we got to go through the faa because they want fair value with the property but they might be able to say well we're going to use it as an airport slash city one and somehow works that out um even then then the city's going to have to pay to keep that one going the one on harbor for three years while they build out one at the um at the airport so no matter how you look at it there's going to be a lot of cost you know they asked uh, the chief carvey uh, what do you think the cost would be and he's like i don't even know he, he didn't really do the math he's thinking around for like five million i'm thinking more but what do i know and i would say that because it's not just a building um you got to get out there and move one for three years have a temporary one for three years or keep up the existing one for three years as you relocate so there's a lot of cost involved and they've had a hard time just getting the um, city council to approve fire trucks. I think they needed three. They finally got the city to buy one. Here's the other problem. Um, they did get $5 million or something like that in a fire assessment fee, but that's all gone. It was left out of the budget. And basically, there's no money. There's no money. So they either got to go to the um, taxpayers and say, hey, we need this. We need to get some money for this. Or uh, what are some? there's other options out there, but we're really limited. Um, bottom line is it's been ignored for years and now it's come to fruition and once again we're stuck no money and what to do and what sucks with this whole government thing is you, the timeline you can't just say oh the fire department's not working uh, let's go out and build a new one and have one in a year you got to go through all the bureaucratic uh, processes out there and you know like like what's being reported it's going to take three years possibly and that's once it gets through all the approval processes of this um, Console, which amazes me every day, some of the stuff I see with them um, and their leadership there. So, this has been Frankie Abrazino with the Scoop News.